Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 evil dolls on TV. Yes, who, fat boy? March, march, look! Ah. Oh my God. For this list, we'll be looking at the most wicked or mischievous dolls featured on the small screen, including miniseries and made-for-TV movies. And since we'll be discussing specific characters' fates, this is your spoiler alert. Which of these naughty toys would you send back to the manufacturer? Let the stuffing fly in the comments below. Number 10, Ashy Slashy, Ash vs. Evil Dead. Wakey wakey, hands off your snakey! It's probably best to be wary of dolls whose names refer to stabbing things in a violent manner. Exhibit A, Ashy Slashy, a possessed puppet created to help in the breaking of demon hunter Ash Williams' psyche. Give in. Let the doctor help us. Get your filthy puppet butthole off of my arm. Besides resembling its namesake's appearance, the admittedly cute demon doll also inhabited the anti-hero's obnoxious behavior. What the fraggle rock is that thing? It's a long story. Come on, we gotta split. You're not even gonna introduce us? Come on, throw a dog a bone. But while Ash found a sweet spot for the little guy, the same couldn't be said for fellow demon fighter Kelly Maxwell. After discovering Ash's mini-me was, well, alive, a scuffle between the two ended with the puppet's head getting blown off. That's one way to end playtime. I'm sorry I'm gonna have to kill you, but I think we've both learned a lot today. <laughs> yeah, always bring a gun to a puppet fight. Number nine, Stevel, Family Matters. Nothing says special Halloween episode quite like an evil doll come to life. This was certainly the case for the sitcom Family Matters, as an infamous season eight episode saw everyone's favorite next door nerd, Steve Urkel, bring a ventriloquist dummy into the Winslow home. <laughs> Dummy that looks exactly like Steve. How disturbing. Thanks to a conveniently aimed lightning bolt, Steve was born and ready to wreak havoc on the household. <laughs> the diabolical doll's atrocities included the likes of stuffing Eddie in the chimney, dismembering Laura, and turning Harriet into a jack in the box. <laughs> I knew she'd pop up somewhere. But alas, it was all revealed to be a horrible nightmare, marking the end of Stevel's wicked reign. Until the following year, of course, where he returned with the equally diabolical Carlsbad. <laughs> Number eight, the doll, Night Gallery. As illustrated in a creeptastic episode of Night Gallery, some of the least likely objects can be filled with the most likely horror. It all starts when Colonel Masters returns home from India during the times of British-era colonialism. It's here that he finds his niece in possession of a mysterious doll delivered by an unknown sender. Filthy looking thing. No, uncle. She's very sweet and very bright too. She can talk and sing and do all sorts of things. Turns out the gift is one of deadly revenge. Infused with magic, the doll was sent to eliminate the colonel on account of him leading the execution of an enemy soldier. Did you fall, sir? Oh, that's a nasty gash. <gasps> Bring that into the study, if you will, Miss Denton. That, that doll. A nasty doll bite and staircase tumble later, the colonel is done for, but not before he sends out a package of his own. Number seven, Scarface. Batman the Animated Series. This better be good, you mugs. From a clown to a penguin to a scarecrow, it's only fitting Batman also has a villainous doll in his rogues gallery. Featured in multiple episodes of Batman the Animated Series, Scarface is ventriloquist slash criminal mastermind Arnold Wesker's personal dummy. But don't get it twisted, this wooden doll is definitely the one in control. I'm the boss here, you talk to me! It began when Wesker, who suffers from dissociative identity disorder, created Scarface to aid in his crimes, only to have the disorder manifest within the dummy itself. I'd watch my mouth if I were you bats. One bullet through that rope in your history. Get my point? What followed were many bullet-ridden crime sprees in Gotham City. There's just something unnerving about a doll with a Tommy gun. You want something done right? Do it yourself! Number six, the Crimson Clown. Are you afraid of the dark? It's one thing to be an evil doll, but to be an evil clown doll? Why, that's a double whammy. Meet the Crimson Clown. Ah! Mike! Mike! 
Appearing in a popular episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark, this porcelain problem solver is said to terrorize badly behaved children into being good. Sam, you're a bad kid. Do you know what we do to kids like you? <laughs> And so, when bratty Sam unfairly makes his older brother's life a living hell, the Crimson Clown comes a-knockin'. No one will help you, Sam. <laughs> You're a bad kid. No one wants to help a bad kid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything I did. After a series of exceedingly frightening life lessons, Sam eventually sees the error of his ways and is given a second chance at doing the right thing. Talk about getting scared straight. Number 5. Evil Krusty Doll, The Simpsons Guess who, fat boy? Merch, merch, look! Ah. Oh this Krusty Doll made for some delightfully devilish parody in The Simpsons' third treehouse of horror. Purchased at the House of Evil for Bart's birthday, Homer naturally ignores the shopkeeper's warnings about the talking doll's supposed curse. Take this object, but beware, it carries a terrible curse. Ooh, that's bad. But it comes with a free frogut. That's good. It doesn't take long for things to turn deadly for the doting dad, however, as it becomes clear he is the target of this doll's murderous intent. Following multiple attacks and a failed disposal, it's Marge who calls the company over, only to discover that the switch on the doll's back was set to evil the whole time. Don't! Here's your problem. Someone set this thing to evil. I love you, Homer. Number 4. Zuni Doll, Trilogy of Terror. What harm can a little shopping do? Turns out, a lot, if you bring home an indigenous fetish doll, that is. Appearing in the third tale of the made-for-TV movie Trilogy of Terror, a Zuni warrior doll unleashes horrifying frights on its unwitting buyer, Amelia. <coughs> the unassuming wooden doll actually contains the spirit of a hunter named He Who Kills, never a good sign, and is adorned with a gold chain to keep the entity at bay. It's really interesting. There's supposed to be some Zuni hunter's spirit inside of it. <laughs> And um, there's a golden chain wrapped around it to keep the spirit from making the doll come to life. But when the chain falls off, Amelia enters the fight of her life. <laughs> and just when it appears the evil spirit had met a fiery demise, the stab happy warrior finds a new host in Amelia. Number three, Chinga, The X Files. When not investigating alien conspiracies, Special Agents Fox Mulder and Dana Scully set their sights on other supernatural occurrences, like, say, a homicidal doll empowered through witchcraft. Let's have fun! The episode in question, co-written by That Stephen King, follows five-year-old Polly and her antique doll Chinga, who was discovered by the girl's father while lobstering. Don't play with matches. It's not long before Chinga overtakes Polly, using her demands and short temper to lead people to commit suicide, in particularly nasty ways, mind you. It looked like the evil entity finally met its end when Scully nuked the doll in the microwave, but alas, another fisherman would later find Chinga and once more hear her demands to play. I want to play. Number two, Slappy the Dummy, Goosebumps. Hey, Sarah. With many antagonists in the Goosebump series, it's Slappy the Dummy who reigns supreme. Carved from coffin wood and infused with the soul of an ancient sorcerer, Slappy springs to life whenever a few fateful words are read aloud, a magical phrase he cleverly keeps in his jacket pocket. Caro, Mary, Donna, Roma, Molyneux, Carano? Once revived, Slappy will try to force the poor individual who brought him back to serve as his slave. Apparently, fans can't seem to get enough of the demented doll, as he's appeared in more books and TV episodes than any other Goosebumps character, not to mention those starring roles in the franchise's movies. I think it's time I started pulling the strings in this relationship. Tonight is gonna be the best story you've ever written. All of your children are coming up to play. <laughs> it's Sloppy's world. We're just living in it. Hey, look who's come to join the party. Never. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Oscar, Friday the 13th, the series. Is there any way to treat a guest? It's showtime. Percy, regular show. Here, Percy, have some tea. Have some tea? What's wrong with you? I don't want your tea. I want to draw on your face. Puppet King. 
Teen Titans. You don't command me, I command you. Peg Dolls, Doctor Who. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Taki Tina – The Twilight Zone Introduced to the world over 50 years ago, Taki Tina still holds the benchmark as television's most evil doll. My name is Taki Tina, and you'll be sorry. And there's no wonder, seeing as how she was expertly unleashed in a highly memorable episode of The Twilight Zone. The story sees Eric Strader's vendetta against a plastic plaything take him to the brink of insanity. My name is Taki Tina, and I don't forgive you. <laughs> Initially annoyed at the large price tag associated with the doll his wife bought for his stepdaughter, Eric's displeasure quickly turns to horror after the talking doll makes her intentions known. Hello? My name is Taki Tina, and I'm going to kill you. And while the Twilight Zone featured a later episode with an evil ventriloquist dummy named Caesar, it's Tina's terrifying phrases, chilling death threats, and icy stares that make her TV's top killer doll. My name is Taki Tina. And you'd better be nice to me. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.